Benjamin. What? You're not supposed to be here. Not supposed to be here? Yes, Gen X Pro. Office has let me know to tell you you're not allowed in here. You no longer work here. Come on now, it's Tommy Benjamin! Look here. There ain't no problem that money can't fix. What do you say? Mr. Benjamin, no. You have you have to leave. You no longer work here. You know what happened. You're out. No! Yes, you're out here. No! Boys, come on. No! Get out of here. No, you can't do it to me! No, you can't do it to me! Good evening everyone and welcome to another episode of Generation Next Pro Wrestling. I am your host, Aaron Ryder. We are coming off the heels of a monumental Never Say Die. As you can tell in my voice, I do not have as much enthusiasm at the current moment. As for those of you that are not aware... As you saw at the top of the broadcast, Big Cuz was injured at Never Say Die during the Triple Threat match. It then he was taken away by ambulance, as you saw at the start of our broadcast. However, on the heels of that, it has come to fruition that Big Cuz has announced his retirement from professional wrestling. He issued a statement on Monday, and I'm going to kind of paraphrase a little bit of that statement where he was thanking everyone after numerous concussions, and here I am reading part of the statement. Today is the day I've been dreading since I started wrestling. After numerous concussions, traumas, and injuries, I've received the most unfortunate medical news that a wrestler can receive. Last night at Generation X Pro Wrestling, or this past Saturday, I left the building in an ambulance which was 100% real. Upon getting many CT scans and talking to doctors, the general consensus seems to be that if Matt wants to live a normal non-CTE life, then Big Cuz has to retire for good. Trust me, this isn't easy and the day has been filled with tears. He would go on to thank everyone in professional wrestling that has helped him along the way. He thanked his family, he thanked his friends, and I will read the closing of that statement now. Lastly, I want to thank the fans. You guys are the life force behind this entire industry. You cheered, you booed, you chanted, and I loved every second of it. Thank you to all the fans for letting me act a fool in front of you to entertain you. Entertaining you guys was the absolute honor of a lifetime. Without you, seven feet is zero feet. Thank you for tuning in, showing up, and meeting and speaking to me. I'm forever grateful for you fans. This isn't a see you later. It's goodbye for good. Thank you for letting me entertain you. It was the role of a lifetime. On a personal note, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Big Cuz, for letting me, as well as all of us, share in your abilities and your talents. And while you are seven feet tall, your heart is much bigger. Thank you so much for everything you've given to all of us. You will be missed. We love you. We miss you. Take care, my friend. And as the saying goes, ladies and gentlemen, the show must go on. And we have lots of things to discuss after... Never Say Die, including involving one of the participants in this match, Nasty Nate Gnarly, who was able to score a big, big win over Drew Dillinger, and therefore, as you also saw at the start of our broadcast, Tommy Benjamin is now gone. That's right, Tommy Benjamin is gone from Generation Next Pro Wrestling. Someone who has been the, been the forward in the side of Nasty Nate Gnarly, and Nate has gotten rid of him for good from Generation X Pro Wrestling. Come on. Come on, you stupid Tonight we have a huge broadcast lined up for you. We're going to hear from the number one contender 
for the Generation Next title. Christopher Michael Lotus will be on the broadcast tonight. Also, in our main event, for those of you that joined us and never say die, you will see the very first title defense of the Appalachian Headhunter, Victor Vargas. He was able to successfully defeat Hollywood Adam Swayze. And now Victor Vargas will defend that title here tonight in our main event against the formidable Drew Dillinger. That is your main event tonight on Generation Next TV. Right now, Nasty Nate and Arlie trying to rally here against Pompano Joe. Knocking him in the corner here. Once again, we thank everyone for joining us at Never Say Die this past Saturday in Cynthia, Kentucky. Thank you so much. Tickets are already on sale for our return to Cynthia on Saturday night, August the 7th, as we will proudly bring to you Acceleration. And again, that will be Saturday night, August the 7th. Tickets are already on sale. They are going fast for Acceleration. However, before we get to Acceleration, we will head to Paris, Kentucky on Friday night, July the 9th, as Generation X Pro Wrestling brings to you Prime. Coming to you from Paris, Kentucky. Those tickets also are going fast. And Papa Joe missing a move in the corner there. Try for his cannonball type maneuver in the corner. And now Nate Gnarly going up top. Beautiful drop kick by nasty Nate Gnarly. And again, as we touched on earlier, nasty Nate Gnarly finally got rid of Tommy Benjamin. We're not sure what that's gonna what that's gonna mean for the rest of Benjamin Enterprise. Oh, backslide by Papa Joe. He's got wait a minute. Oh, but the ref caught him. Papa Joe had his feet on the ropes. And now Pompano Joe not happy that he got caught. And that he took too much time, I think, to give Nate time to recover. What? Now Nate going for a backslide. Wait, Nate's got his feet on the ropes, but the ref didn't see it. And nasty Nate Gnarly pulling a fast one, and he gets the win here on Gen Next TV. Back to Generation X Pro Wrestling. And here we go. Yep. It's Kellen Kramer Bring going one on one with Mickey Midas. And I'm these waiting. guys have had their problems. Now, a special kind of caveat to this matchup is that all members of the homies, as well as Kellen Kramer's tag team partner, Jacob Quartz, they are all barred from ringside. So this will strictly be one-on-one -on -one action to see who the better man is. It's too easy. Yeah. It's too easy. Yeah. All right, fine. 
as both these guys try to establish themselves here in the pecking order. Everyone wanting a shot. What a beautiful move by Mickey Midas. Everyone want a shot. Everyone want a crack at the new Gen Next Pro Heavyweight Champion Victor Vargas. As we saw moments ago, Christopher Michael Lotus was talking about his big win at Never Say Die, where he was victorious in the number one contender scramble match. However, he was, uh, I'll say, rudely interrupted by Brawler Morrison, who is claiming responsibility, if you can believe that. Gladly claiming responsibility for ending the career of Big Cuz. Now, we heard the statement from Big Cuz. We've seen it on social media. The rest of the world's been talking about it. If you just joined us, Big Cuz is no longer going to be active in professional wrestling. The injuries he sustained, not just from Never Say Die, but over the course of his career, the doctors have advised him not to take any more shots to the head or risk any further drama or trauma. So he will no longer be a part of Generation Next Pro Wrestling. And as we saw, Brawler Morrison, as sickening as it is, is claiming responsibility. He's taking credit and he's gloating over the fact that he, in his mind, has ended the career of Big Cuts. There'll be more on that coming up later in the show. But right now, we've got Mickey Midas going one-on-one -on -one with Kellen Craven. Again, all team members are barred from ringside, so that means all members of the homies. Jacob Torrance from Outlast, they are all barred from ringside. This is one-on-one. -on -one. Also, don't forget about our big main event tonight. We've got Victor Vargas defending the Gen Next Pro Championship against the very dangerous Drew Dillinger. That is your main event to come tonight. Also tonight, we're going to hear from the last woman standing. We're going to hear from Big Mama as she discusses what's in her future here at Gen Next Pro Wrestling. And again, these two right now, these two young, young guns, so to speak, trying to settle a score. And Kellen Craven, as he said, come out of, he's been waiting a long time for this one, for a one-on-one -on -one match with Mickey Midas, and he's got it now. And he's trying not to let that opportunity go to waste. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful move by Kellen Craven. Trying to fire himself up. And now Kellen Craven going, following Mickey up to the top. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flash Thompson, he's not supposed to be out here. Flash Thompson was not supposed to be out here. But that provided a distraction, 450! And under questionable circumstances, Mickey Midas gets the win. We'll be back with more Gen Next Pro Wrestling.
Generation Next fans, those of you that tuned in last week, you witnessed a fluke. The Derrick James Open Challenge had a problem. But you see here, I fixed that problem. It's not going to be just anyone comes out here. I handpicked my opponent tonight. And just wait until you see who it is. Bring him out here. Hey! And here we go, Noah Gabriel. What's up, Jen? Next has been a while. Oh my God. Making his return. And here we go, it is the Derrick Jones, Der Derrick James, excuse me, Derrick James open challenge. And he said he handpicked his opponent, and it is Noah Gabriel who we have seen before here at Gin Next. He was unsuccessful last time he was here, hoping to uh, maybe have better luck against Derrick, Derrick James. Wait, whoa! That's a citrus twist! And it's over! Noah Gabriel's beating Derek James. I can't believe it. And neither can Noah. What a big, big win. And Noah is, uh, he might be as shocked as I am. And now he's taking a victory lap. He thinks he's won the Olympics or something. Bring out the Noah's going Let's go. crazy. Let's go. I won. Gen Next for Wrestling, not only am I the woman, but I am a woman of my word because it never say die. I took care of lean, mean Selena Dean because I was the last woman standing. Big Mama! 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 Guess what? What? I won! You I won, won my first match in Gennex! I won my first match! And guess what me? Guess what me? Guess what me? Guess what me? I beat Derek James! <laughs> you beat Derek James! <laughs> I did! I beat his open challenge! And you know what this calls for? I know! Pizza party! I'm gonna get all the soda pop. I'm gonna get a bouncy no, castle. No, 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 no. But we can't invite Derek James. He's a joke. Yeah, he probably gets angry. I'm no joke. You shut up. Have some respect for me. You better be ready. Next week on Gen Next TV, I'm getting a partner. And I'm getting rid of you two idiots. <laughs> he totally gets angry when he's on his pizza. What a joke. <laughs> Welcome back to Big X Pro Wrestling. We got more action coming up. And here comes Waller Morrison. And now here comes the number one contender, Lotus. Ring the bell. And I will do my best, right. fans, to be objective when talking about Waller Morrison. But quite honestly, with the actions that he is displaying, not only at Never Say Die, but since Never Say Die are downright despicable. Try it again. And no matter what happens in the ring, there right. is a certain respect among most wrestlers. And that when a wrestler gets gets hurt or when their career gets shortened, you don't celebrate. You don't gloat about that. You're not happy about that. The ball Morrison has taken that and thrown that out the window. 
He's proud of what happened to him because he's taking the credit for it. And obviously he took the exception to Christopher Michael Rodas talking about becoming the number one contender at Never Say That. So now they both are going at it here. Maybe Rodas can, can teach uh, Brawler a lesson or two. And we are all fast and furious here. And what about what we saw a few moments ago? We saw Noah Gabriel. He was handpicked by Derek James to answer the open challenge, the Derek James open challenge. And Noah got the win with his citrus twist. He took the win and was celebrating like he got, like he had just won a world title. He just won the Olympics. And then we saw him go backstage and give Big Mama a hug. And all I want to know is I, I want to be invited to a pizza party. I really want to be invited to a pizza party. Noah, Big Mama, if you're listening, I do not like anchovies on pizza. So please totally invite me to the pizza party. I would love to come to the pizza party. But with that said, Derek James said next week he's going to find a tag team partner to take on Big Mom and Noah Gabriel. So it sounds like next week we're gonna have, we're gonna have a, uh, a tag team match. We'll have to, so be sure to tune in next week to see who Derek James is getting to take on the team of Noah Gabriel and Big Mama. But right now we've got Brawler Morrison taking control of a big body slam on Christopher Michael Lotus. And this brawl, he is, he is evil, he's mean, he's nasty. He doesn't care about anybody else but himself. All he wants to do is win. All he wants to do is hurt people. And don't forget, fans, still to come tonight, we've got our main event for the Gen Next Championship. Victor Vargas will make his first defense. As he takes on Drew Dillinger, that is our main event tonight here on Gen Next TV. Also, please be sure to like us on Facebook, Generation Next Pro Wrestling. Follow us on Twitter, at Next Pro. Also, go to Patreon at Patreon backslash GNPW. Keep up with all the action here at Generation Next Pro Wrestling. Uh, as well as join us when uh, we return to Cynthia, Kentucky, uh, Saturday night, stand up, August the 7th, uh, for Acceleration. Up, tickets are on man. sale now for Acceleration. Uh, also, man. tickets are on sale for uh, Paris, Kentucky, uh, Friday night, July the 9th, as we will see Generation X Pro Wrestling proudly bring to you prime. We have a huge card lined up for that night. We're going to see the homies take on the team of Atlas. Uh, Atlas. We also have, if you follow us on social media, we announced that Hollywood Adam Swayze is going to take on Christopher Michael Lotus in Paris, Kentucky on Friday night. July the 9th. So be sure to stay tuned to social media as we'll have more announcements in the upcoming weeks for all the action regarding Pride in Paris, Kentucky on July the 9th. As well as August the 7th when we return to Cynthia, Kentucky. And right now, Christopher Lope, Michael Lewis has got his hands full of ball boys. What a beautiful spin kick. And Brawl is reeling now. A Lotus going for a win now. Not quite though. Brawl is tough. He definitely knows how to fight. And like you said, he knows how to fight. He loves hurting people. Lotus out of the way there. Oh! Caught Larry to the back of the head. Beautiful German suplex. 
But that's not enough. He's trying to get a choke lock in a Lowe's, but Lowe's fighting him off. Smartly fighting him off, I might add. Samoa drop. Oh, what a beautiful kick to the back of the head. Now, roll down. Oh, beautiful move. Oh, wait a minute. Lowe's got caught. Lowe's oh, got on. that locked on. on. He's got, wait a minute, Lowe's. You better check him. Come on. No. Lowe's is it's out. Over, it's over. Ring the bell. Ring and Brawl and Morris is getting a big win. No, no. But he's not letting go. Come on, Rick, get him out of there. For the last 20 years, I've dedicated my life to professional wrestling to get where I am today. For the last five, I have shaped and molded professional wrestlers all over the country. And that is exactly what I'm doing in Cynthiana, Kentucky at Legends Pro Wrestling Academy 101 Hingston. What took me 20 years to achieve has become my goal to make a fraction of the time for your success. Email me now, legendsprowrestlingacademy at gmail.com. Send that message, make that dream a reality. Let's knock out the wrestling business together today. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is main event time, and it is for the Gen Next Heavyweight Championship. As Drew Dillinger takes on the champion, Victor Vargas, in his first official title defense. Who you got, Sam? For those of you that say this and never say die, you saw Victor Vargas get the win in the last chance triple threat match. And then he advanced on and was able to successfully defeat Hollywood Adam Swayze and become the first ever Good Next Pro Champion. And he's got his hands full tonight with the big and tough Drew Dillinger. But Victor Vargas showing no fear. Still right at you. Not backing down, not backing up an inch. Oh, but he got caught. And tossed back into the ring apron. Come on, get him back in the ring. Come on, get him back in. And that was not may not have been the smartest move by Victor. He played right into the power, right into the size. Right into the straight of Drew Dillinger. Four. And now Drew looking to become the second Gen X Pro Heavyweight Champion. And he got caught coming in. Bugs has got to use his speed tonight. Oh, but he again played right into Drew's power and Drew caught him. But Vargas up oh, behind him using his speed, but again. Drew powering out. No, no, no. No, no, no. And driving Vargas right in the buckles. And Victor is struggling now. As we see Drew trying to slow down the pace. Trying to establish dominance. Trying to use his size and his weight advantage. As uh, Drew was near that 400 pound mark, he probably uh, outweighs Victor by, by a good 150, 200 pounds. So he's definitely trying to work Vargas over now.
And what a boot to the side of the head. And again, this is not, this is no cakewalk for Victor. It is first title defense. There's no, uh, there's no easy matches here at Gen X Pro Wrestling. When you're a champ, when you're the top dog, everybody wants a shot at you. There's, there's no off nights. And it was much, uh, it is a hard mountain to climb. Victor finally climbed the mountain to become the first ever Gen X Pro Champion. But now comes even harder is keeping that belt when everyone is gunning for you, even your friends. They'll be gunning for that championship. They want that prestige. They want that notoriety of being the Gen X Pro Champion. And Drew Dillinger is one of those men. He is wanting that belt. He is not in a good mood after what happened to Never Say Die. As we saw earlier, Tommy Benjamin is gone. So Drew has been in quite a foul mood. I couldn't even really talk to him earlier today. As he just is in a in a heck of a mood, just had a just a scowl on his face pretty much all day. Now Victor once again trying to show that toughness, trying to fight back. And here he comes! Oh, he got caught once again. He ran right into the size and power of Drew Dillinger. And Drew has done a, a very good job of slowing the pace, keeping it methodical, and just wearing Victor down. And Dow Driver Vic, uh oh, we've seen this before. Maybe not the smartest move trying to drive Victor head first in the buckles. And now Victor firing back with some shots. Got the big man reeling a little bit, but he, oh! And now they are trading shot after shot right in the middle of the ring. Oh, what a big blow from Drew Dillinger. Victor's not even moving. Victor is down. I, I don't know if I'd wait, be wasting this much time if I was Drew, though. You've got the champion down. You've got to capitalize. But that was a heck of a shot. And now Victor once again. Trying to stay in this fight. And that's what this is. This is a fight. Tossed to the court. Here comes Drew. Victor using his quickness. And once again, Drew tried charging in and missed for a second time. And Victor's trying to keep things moving. Drew trying to go third time to charm. No! And now driven head first into the, into the mat. Victor's firing up. He catches Drew. Could that be it? No! So close. That was so close. I thought Victor had him. Oh, Drew caught it. Plants him. What's Drew going for? Oh! with all his body weight down on the victor no and victor gets his shoulder up barely in time drew thought he had it 
Drew thought he was going to get the title. But Victor showing why he's the champ, showing why he's so tough. And Drew has definitely been in control for a majority of this match, just tossing Victor back into the ring. Drew, wait a minute, he, Victor kind of walked in there. Oh, spear! That's got to be it. No! Drew can't believe it, quite frankly, neither can I. Victor Vargas barely getting out after a big spear attempt. And you can just hear the growls coming from Victor Vargas as he's trying to catch his breath. And Drew dragging Victor towards the corner. Oh, this spells bad news. Oh my gosh, what a Vader bomb! Is he, I, I would have covered him right there. He's going for a second one. And the ref better check up. Victor's hurt. All that weight dropping down on Victor. He's going for a third one. But no, Victor moves out of the third one. And Drew, looking around, stumbling backwards. Victor's got him. Oh my gosh, what a move. And that's it. What a battle. And Victor Vargas is still the Jim Next Pro Heavyweight Champion. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Jim Next Pro TV.